Uh, speaking of market, of course, uh, Amazon has not been doing too well with the market. <laughs> Lately, okay. they've uh, really been screwing th some things up. There's actually multiple things I want to talk about with Amazon. So, uh, first of all, it's, this is one that's kind of personal. Um, okay. You were talking about Sonic Mania earlier. I know you probably downloaded it off the PlayStation Store. Yeah, because I, I don't do I don't do physicals much. Which that's I not... mean, they don't have a physical release of that game, anyways. Like even if you wanted to play a disc copy of the game, uh, Sega hasn't published one, at least yet. Right. Uh, but Sega did put out a collector's edition. For Sonic Mania, um, which has a nice, huge Sonic statue. It's like a foot tall. And he's standing on top of a replica Sega Genesis Model 1. That oh. has even like the little volume knob and things like that. It's really neat. Uh, so I actually just got mine today. But the problem with that is the game came out on Tuesday the 15th. Mm -hmm. And I got mine today... And I have Amazon Prime, which is supposed to be free two-day shipping. And Amazon typically does release date shipping on everything, but for whatever reason, they didn't with this. Like, I've had this issue before. Yeah, it's like yeah. They, they selectively list which games they do release date shipping for. And I've never, I, I have had a problem with the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. I didn't get it until the day after launch, but. That was kind of a separate issue because that was listed as really state shipping. That was a mess up on their part, essentially. This, I don't know. It just doesn't make a lot of sense, especially since I pre-ordered it back in September of last year. Right. Back when it was $70. Now, I will, to Amazon's credit, uh, for whatever reason, uh, they had a weird price drop on Sonic Mania where it dropped down to like $43.56. And so I actually got it for that price, even though I originally pre-ordered it at the $69.99 price. Right, and that right. was really cool. But still, I mean, they really dropped the ball on the way they release this. Because obviously, if I wanted to get the game at launch, now I'm going to have to think about, well, maybe I should pre-order to GameStop or something like that. Because Amazon doesn't really do a good job of ensuring that we get the games on time. No, they, they don't. I had this problem with Dragon Quest Eight yeah. back in January. Right. And, I mean, that said, you know, Amazon does still have some benefits, uh, especially if you're a Prime member, although it seems like they're really kind of cutting away at that. Uh, first of all, their whole, um, whenever you pre-order a game, you know, you can get 20% off whenever you, whenever you pre-order a game or if you buy it within the first two weeks of the game's launch. Which, you know, if you're really interested in a game, but you're kind of on the fence and you want to see what the reviews are like, you know, it's, I can understand why somebody might wait until, like, shortly after launch to buy it. Well, if you're one of those people, be wary because they are actually getting rid of the 20% discount. Effective now. Uh, this is actually a news article. Uh, where, where were, I actually forgot where that was. Do you remember where I sent it from? Um, I can check for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know, um, just tell them what it is, though. They're getting rid of it. Oh, so. okay. So, yeah, they're getting rid of the discount for the first two-week purchase. So you'll still get the 20% discount if you pre-order the game. But if you're one of those holdouts that's going to wait just to see Tech what they're... Tech Raptor, by the way. Oh, the Tech Raptor is actually for the other story that I'm going to cover. This was from comicbook.com. Okay, my uh, But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't like the idea behind that. But since we are talking about the other story, too, at the same time, if you're in Canada, you're even getting hosed even further. Because on top of having inflation and having your games cost like about roughly $20 more than they do in the U.S., you're also going to lose part of your Amazon discount. In Amazon Canada, they're actually confirmed to go from 20% to 10%, which this is something I found out on uh, TechRaptor. And uh, now, bear in mind... Amazon did confirm that if you already pre-ordered a game at before the change, you'll still get the 20% for that. But for all new orders, it's going to go down to 10% starting now. That's pretty dumb. Which, you know, I can understand why Amazon's making some of these changes. They're a company. They're trying to make a profit and things like that. Um, and when they offer the 20% discount, they're basically making no money off of those games. You know, with the way these right. companies sell them. But... At the same time, 
it's a way to encourage people to continue subscribing to Prime because Prime costs $100 a year, whereas a similar service like Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked is only $30 every two years. So right. they're just helping drive people more to Best Buy. Um, unless, I guess, they're kind of attached to Amazon's other services like Amazon Video and whatnot. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird move, but I still think Amazon Prime has a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So, it, it does still have some things to offer. I'm not going to, like, immediately cut my subscription to Amazon or anything like that anytime soon. But, and protest. <laughs> but at the same time, um, I'm probably going to start looking at getting, like, games that I really want at launch. I'll probably start looking at getting them at uh, Walmart or GameStop or something like that instead, you know, just... Yeah, that's a good point. I think uh, it depends on where you get it from. Now, me, I, I don't worry too much about it because I'm not into physical copies that much anymore. Mm -hmm. So I buy a lot of it from PlayStation Store, but still, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, so I think some physical game or some digital games actually do get discounts on Amazon. It's, it seems pretty rare, but I have seen a few. Yeah. Huh. That, I wonder which ones. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, speaking of... Uh, digital discounts uh, game uh, Green Man Gaming right now they're doing a 10% off sale on PlayStation Store credit uh, so if you want to get some games for PS4 or PS3 or whatever pretty cheap you know like um, you can buy some credit on there and you know build that up so you can get like $100 credit for $90 for example and kind of bank that and that'll help you buy a little bit more off of there you just, they have like a promo code you have to use but gotcha. that's, always, that's always an option for someone like you that does digital yeah i could i could look into that i think 